everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which are my pride recommendations. So I'm really excited for Pride Month to come around this June. I have been reading so many good books and I have so many good books on my TBR. So if you're interested in that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can see when that video comes out. I don't know if it'll be before or after this video, but you should definitely check it out and just subscribe. There have been so many good queer based romance and literature coming out and it's just wonderful to see as a queer person all this representation and all of these unique and fun ideas coming into literature and everything like that. So I thought I'd share some of that here with you guys. My first recommendation for you is actually a duology. So if you like dark academia and fairy tales, then I would recommend reading the Grimrose Girls duology by Laura Pohl. This takes place in this mysterious academy in Switzerland and you have a bunch of these girls who are all kind of reincarnation-esque styles or doppelgangers of different fairy tale characters that we know of and of course you've got that drama going on as well as regular high school drama of girls falling for their crushes. There are quite a few queer characters and main characters in these books which makes it perfect if you are a thriller, dark academia really fan that also needs some queer reads for June. Speaking of queer dark academia, which I think should be its own thing because that is really cool, I would also recommend My Dearest Darkest by Kayla Cottingham. This author just came out with her second book and it's they're definitely like horror queer books that are dark academia. Um, so definitely check the trigger warnings before going into this one. For example, if you're not a big fan of body horror, maybe skip this one. Uh, so their second book just came out quite recently and I cannot wait to read that this year. But if you're unfamiliar, My Dearest Darkest follows this. Again, Academy kind of on its own little island and there is some mysterious thing under the school and they may do some, this group of friends may do some little thing to awaken something and oh it's all dark and mysterious and I thought it was super well written for a debut novel and I love the relationships in here it's just so cute so definitely check this one out too now if you are a sci-fi fan I actually do have a re recommendation for you there is a book called The Kindred that I read last year and this was a great romance in our male main character is bi and pretty much okay all of the main characters in here have some sort of queer representation from bi to ace to gay and just oh it's all there but it's the idea that when you are born and this is in a galaxy far far away right there is kind of this overruling alien race over another race and the idea is that when you are born, you kind of have a kindred. You are paired up with someone that is like your perfect companion, whether it be romantically or friendship wise or whatever. You have someone that will always connect with you and understand you. And so the prince of this kind of regime era, his kindred is actually someone from a very poor planet and it's really not great for a royal kindred pairing. And so the Prince, or he's not a prince, but he's like fifth in line for the throne until his entire family is basically slaughtered, and he is the only surviving royal. So he and his kindred go and run away to Earth and try and figure out what's happening, how do they solve it, and they make a great group of friends on Earth, of course, and it was just a really great like sci-fi standalone. Like, I was very surprised how much I enjoyed it because I'm not a big sci-fi person. I mean, I like sci-fi. It's just not what I gravitate towards. Gravitate. Space. Get it? So if you're a sci-fi fan and you need something for this Pride Month, check out this one. Now, all the rest of these are going to be somewhere in the vein of contemporary romance, YA, adults, etc. and so forth. So first up, if you are a bit of a foodie like me, I would recommend to you Chef's Kiss. So this features a bisexual main character and a non-binary main character. 
Now, just be aware of trigger warnings for like non-acceptance of uh, gender identity and things like that. Um, because both of these people work in a kitchen, in a commercial style kitchen. They form a relationship. They're very much opposites attract. Uh, our one main character is very like organized. Things have always been done a certain way. She likes her kitchen this way. And then this new person, this new manager comes in and they just change everything around and they're the new boss and what the heck is going on. It was just a very fun, very sweet, but also like very hard hitting at times. Like there are some good conversations happening in this book, but it's still fairly light. If you need an ace recommendation for this month, I would recommend to you I'll Be The One. And this was just a really fun book about a Korean American who is overweight, but she really wants to be a K-pop star. And so she enters in this competition and then she meets this guy and they're really sweet. And oh, it's, it's, it's just cute. It's just a cute little YA, like Korean culture heavily influenced uh, contemporary. Alright, this next one was one that I actually read with my book group and we all very much enjoyed it, but again, be aware for trigger warnings of non-acceptance within family members. I don't want to spoil it, but I do just want that to be known <laughs> before going in. But that is The Lesbiana's Guide to Catholic School. So here we follow our main character who, her father was deported back to Mexico. Her younger brother really gets into a lot of trouble. Like he's been having a really hard time and their mom is having a really hard time supporting the two kids without her husband there. And so some amazing thing happens and she is able to send them both to Catholic school. Her brother is super smart and gets like these great scholarships and our main character has to kind of work her way to keep herself in Catholic school in order to keep an eye on her brother and help him. Uh, but she had a really bad experience being gay at her last school and so she is not super sure that she wants to come out to everyone at this new Catholic school. So you just follow her transition there, her year there, and oh it was so heartwarming and touching and also a tearjerker and just so much. Like was it a perfect book? Probably not, but I definitely recommend this one for sure. And then finally, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put in there that really anything by Adipa J. Girdar, if you haven't read anything by this author, any of their contemporary rom-coms, like, they're YA, they're fun, they're queer, they have South Asian main characters who live in Ireland, like, I've enjoyed all the ones that I've read by this author so far, so just, just gonna throw out there anything by Adipa J. Girdar. Those are all the recommendations I have for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Like I said before, make sure you subscribe if you like content like this. Otherwise, I do have bookish social media linked down below if you want more bookish content. Also, comment down below if you have any recommendations for me of what I should be reading. I am always open for recommendations or just chatting with you in the comments below. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.